If you can't tell, that that's my excitement over having seen the second Star Wars trailer that came out today. Holy shit, there is so much to talk about. And this is coming from after I completely missed to talk about the Ant-Man trailer and the Terminator trailer. So, this is a good way to make up for it. So, obviously, I'm probably going to leave out some things, but let's get to it. The very moment you see the trailer, the first thing that comes in is you hear the old Star Wars theme, and you just see a huge expanse of desert, and it doesn't look like there's anything going on. Until you see in the background there's a down Star Destroyer and X-Wing in the foreground just crashed there. First thing I thought was, hmm, wait, is that a reference to the Force Unleashed? That's actually on the cover of the Force Unleashed. That was actually a big part of that game. And then you hear this voiceover that says, the Force is strong in my family. I mean, I have it, my sister has it, my father has it. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, that's the exact same dialogue that Luke had in Return of the Jedi when he was getting ready to go confront Vader. So it's nice to see there's some consistency, there's some continuity in this. And then, but what really hammers that in is the fact that there's somewhere in the middle of a desert, there's a campfire, and you see clearly R2-D2 just sitting there, and some hooded figure rubbing his hand over him. It's a mechanical hand. Oh my god, that's Luke! Or at least I'm assuming it's Luke, because he's the only one with a cyborg cannon who has a relationship with R2-D2. There's a bunch of other things in this film, in this trailer to talk about that had me so hyper. There's one scene where there's like a whole bunch of stormtroopers standing in what appears to be in the middle of an open arena. And that's one thing I like to talk about. The stormtrooper helmets are slightly different, but it looks like they're smiling now. Like a really creepy Hello Kitty type smile. Not that intimidating. And there's also this weird banner in the background that doesn't look like the Imperial emblem that I'm used to. Even the TIE fighters look a little weird. I mean, they're not blue anymore or black. They have this little white, almost translucent look to them. And they definitely sound like them and they shoot like them. You can definitely hear that howl. There's also this random bronze or silver looking stormtrooper who looks really elite. Like, is that the Boba Fett of the trilogy or the movie or something? And then you see, you see the X-Wings flying around with one of the new characters. I'm not sure who that is. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing is you see the Millennium Falcon giving chase, or being chased rather, buy some ties, just like in the first trailer, only this time it's much more expensive. It goes through what looks like the back of the Star Destroyer, and you see the chase. And the chase kind of reminds me of the asteroid chase in Empire Strikes Back. And that really made me happy. It's like, okay, there's some more continuity, consistency, tying it back to the old trilogy. I like that. And then you see the interior of the TIE Fighter. They have this new pilot. The new TIE Fighter pilot gear, it's kind of got some red in it, so it looks kind of like Darth Maul. Okay. Okay, this is new. It doesn't look too bad. It does look kind of nice. But the biggest thing, the absolute biggest thing, the thing that probably made fans everywhere jump for joy and simultaneously scream, I want this movie to come out, is at the very end of the trailer, where you see Han Solo, an age Han Solo, and Chewbacca talking to the camera, or themselves rather, saying, Chewie, I think we're home. And then Chewie just roars like, ah. That right there, that told me that this movie is probably going to be the most epic thing ever. And just to give you a high, an idea of how much it connects to the old trilogy, it even, that shot right there even kind of looks like the shot they use on promos for episode four, where Han and Chewie just standing next to each other, ready to fire off. There's probably some things I forgot to talk about. It's just so much to take in at once. It's just so awesome. I probably forgot to mention it earlier, but during the scene over the opening monologue with the Force being strong in the family, you see this figure give out a lightsaber that looks a lot like Anakin's lightsaber from when he was still a Jedi. Didn't that get destroyed at the end of Empire Strikes Back in that duel with Vader? The point is, and I'm absolutely not kidding about this, I look forward to this movie so much. Excitement is not the fucking word to describe how excited I am about this movie. I just hope that studios don't spoil us with trailers so much before the movie comes out. Like they're doing with the Avengers Age of Ultron and the Terminator. I mean, yeah, we're all pumped about the movie. We all want to see it, but don't give us too much. Don't spoil the plot. Don't show us too much. Leave us guessing. Leave us with some imagination. Even if we have to wait another eight months until it comes out, which means it's going to be a very long eight months. So those are my thoughts on the Star Wars second trailer. So what did you all think? Were you excited about it? Did you like it? Do you think you saw enough? What was your favorite part of the trailer? Whatever you think, leave me a comment below. Tell me how you feel. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Asteroid Mike. Don't forget to follow my blog. And as always, I will see you around.